Okay, boys and girls, today we are going to be talking about affordable Christmas gifts for EDC gear nuts. So with Christmas right around the corner, I thought it'd be fun to talk about a few kind of more affordable options of EDC gear that are not the obvious knives that you can get someone that you know that likes everyday carry or is at least into kind of customized things like wallets, lighters, pens, watches, and the like. So without any further ado guys, let's jump into some EDC gear that's reasonably affordable that is not knives. Okay, so we're going to start off with the cheapest stuff here. So I'm going to move these guys real quick. And we're going to just, like I said, start off with some of the most affordable stuff. And this first category is basically what I'm, what I'm calling smartwatch accessories. So either an Apple Watch or any smartwatch, a lot of people have them nowadays. And you can get different kinds of things like different straps, loops, bump cases, all for very affordable prices. And so if you know someone in your life that loves rocking their Apple Watch, you know, getting something like a band, even the real Nike sports bands or sport loops, I should say, uh, are pretty affordable. They're not too crazy, but these knockoff ones do offer a lot of good characteristics that are very similar to the real ones. Honestly, they're not much different aside from the reflective threads in the original Nike sport loops, but they are very similar in quality, build quality, but you can get these in a lot more different colors. So this is a great option. If you don't have a whole lot of money, you can get a bunch of these for like 10 bucks. I think you can get like three or four of them for 10 bucks. And so that gives someone who wants to wear them a bunch of different color options to mix and match with whatever they wear. Like I said, in addition to things like bump cases like this help keep the watch uh, safer and protected. And at the same time, they also offer a nice little differential in color and are not terribly expensive either. So smartwatch accessories like bands, loops, and bump cases are really a pretty cool thing to get as far as Christmas gifts or ideas. Okay, so the next one is going to be lighters. These also are not terribly expensive, and a lot of people associate, especially Zippo lighters, with smokers or with smoking, and while that is certainly true, that was their original intent. I EDC a lighter every day, primarily for survival, and so if I need to start a fire for whatever reason, lighters make that very, very easy. And even if someone does already have a lighter, if you know they have a Zippo lighter or really any of these style lighters, lighter fluid, flints, and wicks are very appreciated and very cheap to get as well. So that is another fantastic option. Okay, stepping it up a little bit into the price range is vintage multi-tools. Now, whether it's a Leatherman like this one or a Swiss Army knife, uh, or like a Victorinox, you can find a lot of vintage high quality multi-tools on eBay where I got this one and you can get these for well under $50, especially Victorinoxes, but even this Leatherman PST was under $50 and these things are really cool. Um, they have not quite as much functionality as modern multi-tools, but oftentimes they're a little bit smaller and uh, they are a little bit more compact, but they also have a story to them. I really like these vintage multi-tools that are in pretty good shape, like this PST here. You know, like everything, like the blade itself is in really good shape, as you guys can hopefully see there. Uh, but, you know, has some scratches, some different marks on the handle, but that adds to the character of it. It's a, a nice kind of collector's piece and a really cool sentimental tool that is also something that you can EDC if you'd like. So finding vintage or older multi-tools like the Leatherman PST, uh, Swiss Army Rangers, Huntsman, or sorry, I should say Victorinox Rangers or Huntsman uh, are great ways to go for getting EDC multi-tools on the reasonable, affordable side of things and also very effective. So pretty cool. This one that you know might kind of qualify as a knife because it does technically have a knife, but I count this as a multi-tool. So vintage multi-tools, especially from eBay, are a, another fantastic budget option for Christmas gift ideas. 
Okay, now stepping it up into things that are right around $50, maybe a little bit more, but also with Black Friday deals right around the corner or basically happening right now, you honestly might be able to get a lot of the things we're about to mention for around $50 or under with things like coupons or specials or promotionals. So even though right now, when as of the making of this, some of these items might be more than $50, I think they will be around or under 50 so with promotions like I said discounts so the next one is OpenSea leather wallets and these things are fantastic I've gotten a handful of them as you guys can see here and I've been trying to replace my mainstay wallet but these things are absolutely fantastic the leather on these is so supple and soft I've been touching them feeling them like crazy because they are just so darn cool they're very well broken in uh, very supple and really awesome wallets and even at a non-discounted price these things are still very affordable coming in right around fifty dollars whether you get this is the top sider and this is the gun deck they're just absolutely fantastic beautiful wallets you guys can see the leather is gorgeous and if you want to get something more custom, they offer a ton of different colors of leather, colors of stitching, and they are really amazing wallets. So definitely more to say about these, and I will be doing my own review on both of these guys, but for around $50 and potentially, like I said, less with coupons or discounts, these things are a no-brainer if you know that someone in your life really likes uh, wallets they get a lot of use out of them obviously they are a pretty necessary piece for especially a guy but these are some beautifully crafted leather wallets and they are reasonably affordable my personal one that i go to is the cam by open sea leather this one is my personal go-to and my favorite but as a whole um, all of these leather wallets are just fantastic Okay, stepping it up into the last category is custom pens. This is one that there's a ton of different variety. There's many different makers. These two are just a couple that I have. And prices are very... And prices vary quite wildly on custom pens in the EDC world. Now, there are certain pens that are thousands of dollars and completely ridiculous. So this isn't this doesn't apply to every pen, but a lot of different pens out there are still custom or reasonably custom and are not super crazy expensive, especially like I said with any Black Friday deals or discounts that might exist. So this one is a big idea, it designs titanium click pen, really fantastic, it writes very well, it's very comfortable, and being the fact that this is a titanium pen, it is very lightweight. In fact, it's kind of crazy that this is an all metal pen and it weighs just about as much as a plastic pen. So that is pretty crazy, pretty cool. But next to that one is a Maritac Embassy, and uh, this one's a little bit more of a traditional pen, and this one's in brass, so it is not quite as light, but both of these pens write very well, um, and they are something that I think most EDC guys will appreciate because they are a custom touch. They are something that uh, you'll definitely notice and enjoy using, and... Yeah, so these are really cool. Like I said, pens tend to be a little bit more expensive, so you might have to do some looking to find one around $50. Both of these guys are just over $100, but they are, in my opinion, well worth it. And I think if you get a custom pen for the right person that really does like EDC gear, they will definitely appreciate them. So that is another awesome gift choice. Okay, so you had to know that at some point I was actually going to talk about a knife. So this isn't quite a knifeless list, but I did want to mention that uh, traditional knives, especially like these, are definitely coming back. There's like a large resurgency in the EDC, especially in the EDC community, of just traditional kind of non-locking blades like this uh, GEC. This is a pocket carver, so this one's a little bit more outdoor dedicated, but things like this blade uh, or like this traditional folder are out there in preeminence and just really cool. Um, traditional folders are very unique. This one has a nice little leather uh, slip to it, so it has a kind of nice protective shell. It can be 
slipped into and you can throw this whole thing in your pocket but whether it has a slip or not just traditional folders like this are really cool and another fantastic gift option if you know that the type of EDC person in, in your life is likes traditional folders and once again similar to the multi-tool it might not be something that they carry every single day but if they want something special to kind of stand out and be unique this is a really solid option so anyways guys that kind of wraps it up hopefully you enjoyed taking a look at these different uh options for edc i tried to uh keep it different and unique especially with the leather wallets i think they are pretty cool overall pretty solid i think they're pretty cool pretty solid overall and if you really get any of these for someone who likes cdc i think they'll be happy with just about any of them anyways guys hopefully you enjoyed the video as always god bless and i'm out